Teresa. Thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be sewing Simplicity 8802 and this is a great project for anyone that's learning how to do piping and pockets because you get both of them in one go. Whoa. Okay, right now I'm about halfway done with this project. Um, I already made the adult small for my 14 year old and I'm really happy with them. These are great pajama pants. I will definitely use this pattern again. I wish I had enough of this Christmas fabric to make the top part for them too, but I just had enough to make the two pairs of pants and then I'm gonna make a little nightgown for my daughter. Um, <clears throat> so over here is the child small. It's cut out and ready to go. I did serge the ends so that they're finished on the inside, or fi I finished all the edges that would be raw. Oh, oh bless you. <laughs> um, and I did make my own piping for the first time. I took yarn and I just wrapped it with fabric. I was really concerned that it would look funny because I didn't have a solid colored yarn to use and it's like, um, it was a white that changes to blue. And I can really see it when I look at just the piping, but then once it's on, once it's actually on the fabric, you can't tell. So it turned out okay. And that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you step by step what you need to do to make these pajama pants. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them. And I hope you guys have a great day. With right sides together, pin pocket to the side edge of front and back, matching large dots, having raw edges even. Stitch in a 3 8 inch seam. I had marked the little triangles with chalk and matched those up before pinning the pocket side to the pant side with the right sides together. I did this four times. Then I sewed the pocket to the pants, removing pins as I went. Step two, press the seam toward pocket, pressing the pocket out. Step three, pin front to back at side seams, matching large dots. Stitch side seams, leaving an opening between the large dots. Back stitch at large dots to reinforce the seams. Stitch pocket edges together from side seams to upper edge. So first I press the seams toward the pocket. Now you need to sew the front section of your pants to the back section. So I just laid the top onto the bottom piece with the right sides together and I pinned them down. With these pockets you leave the top open so you sew about two-ish inches on the top part of the pants then you stop and move to the top corner of the pocket and you sew down the length of the pocket and the pants. Step four, clip pants back seam allowance at ends of pocket. Press seam open above and below clip. Press pocket toward the front and base the upper edge of the pocket to the front. Step five, on outside, apply piping or ribbon to the lower edge, having the ends even with the raw edge. And it says to see general directions for purchased piping or ribbon. So here I'm clipping the seam allowance on the back side of the pants and I'm pressing them open at the top and at the bottom. Also pressing the pocket and seam toward the front. Next I pin the pocket down onto the front of the pants before using a basting or a long stitch to hold it in place. And now it's time to sew the piping down. This is only the second time I've ever worked with piping, so I'm no expert, but I think it turned out pretty good. Here, I'm pinning the piping to the right side of the pajama pants, matching up the raw edges. When sewing on piping, it's best to use a zipper foot. 
Uh, it's a little blurry. Um, there we go. Here is my zipper foot. You want to get your stitching as close to the piping as you can. I even moved my needle over to the left a little so that I could stitch as close as possible to the piping. Then just take your time and stitch down the length of it. When you're done, clip off the extra piping and repeat these steps for the other leg. Step six, pin front to back at inner leg seam, matching notches in small dots. Stitch seam, stretching back to fit. With right sides together, insert one pant leg inside of the other. So here I'm folding the pant leg in half and then sewing the inner seam. Once that is done for both legs, it's time to sew the legs together. Start by turning one leg inside out. And take that leg and put it inside the wrong side out leg, matching the inner seams. Now the right sides are together and pin them in place. Step eight, with right sides together, pin center seam matching inner leg seams and notches, stitch. To reinforce seam, stitch again over the first stitching. So unfortunately my camera's battery died when I sewed this and I didn't realize it so I don't have any footage of sewing the pants together. Um, but the illustration's pretty good for step eight. But I'm, I'm sorry I don't have that footage. Um, once it was sewn together, I pressed the seams open. Step nine, for men's sizes, press two inch on upper edge to inside, and for boys' sizes, press one and a half inch on upper edge to inside, forming casing. Press under one fourth inch on raw edge, stitch close to the inner edge, leaving an opening to insert the elastic. Step 10, cut a piece of elastic the length of the elastic guide, insert elastic through the opening and casing, overlap ends, and hold it with a safety pin. I just eyeballed it. I ironed the raw edges under and I flipped it down again around an inch and a half or so and then I ironed it down again. I took a small piece of ribbon and I stuck it under the fold to mark the back of my pants since I decided not to add the tie in the front. Then I marked where I wanted to leave an opening with a couple of pins. When you sew this part down, you'll also encase the raw edges of the top of your pockets. I measured the elastic around my kid's waist, and I used a safety pin to string it through the casing. Step 11, try on the pants, adjust the elastic to fit comfortably so the top of the casing is one inch below your natural waistline. Stitch ends of elastic together securely and stitch the opening closed. Distribute the fullness evenly. And I skipped ahead to sewing the elastic together. Then I sewed the hole close. Step 13, with the right sides together, stitched notched ends of leg band. Fold the band in half lengthwise with wrong sides together, press, base raw edges together. With right sides together, pin the band to the pant leg, matching the inner leg seam, stitch. Press seam up toward the pants, pressing leg band and piping out. You fold your band and you match the short ends before sewing them together. Once it's sewn, you need to press your seam open and then fold them so that the wrong side is on the inside. Sorry, that's out of frame a little bit. Okay, and here you're supposed to uh, baste them together. I forgot to do that and I just skipped ahead to 15. 
Um, matching the inner seam of the pants, pin your band onto the bottom matching the raw edges. Now, take the time to open up a juice box for a child. And again, when sewing piping, it really helps to use your zipper foot. This part is a little bit tricky because you can't see your piping anymore, so use your fingers to guide you along and feel where that piping is, and just take your time. I skipped step 18. Here's how these pants turned out. I don't like that I couldn't get my piping to match perfectly. I think that'll take practice, and maybe there's some tip that I don't know, but again, this is only my second time ever sewing piping, so I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pleased. I think they turned out great. So again, thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'd be more than happy to answer them. And if you feel like it, please subscribe to my channel, and have a great day. Thank you. I've already made the adult small. I need to make... In this video, I'm going to make the child small. And I'm going to go ahead and take you along for the ride with my screaming children. <laughs>